Ever wondered what became of Melissa Sue Anderson, the starry-eyed Mary Ingalls from Little House on the Prairie? I told Nellie her teeth would fall out. She didn't care. Beyond her iconic blue bonnet and the prairies of Walnut Grove, Anderson's journey weaves through the glamorous yet tumultuous realms of Hollywood, marked by dazzling highs and quiet retreats. Let's turn back the pages to where it all began, tracing the footsteps of a child star who charmed her way into our living rooms and hearts. Early life and break into stardom. Melissa Sue Anderson's story begins in Berkeley, California, on September 26, 1962, where she entered the world as the youngest of two daughters. Growing up, Melissa's family dynamics were typical of the time, with her older sister Maureen being 12 years her senior. This age gap must have felt like a generational chasm, leaving Melissa to carve out her own niche in the family. At the tender age of seven, a significant turn came in Melissa's life when her family moved to Southern California. This relocation wasn't just a change of scenery, it was the first step towards a destiny she couldn't have imagined. In the land where dreams are manufactured, Melissa found herself nudged towards the spotlight. Encouraged to participate in activities beyond the usual school curriculum, Melissa took up dance classes. Little did she know that these classes would be the catalyst for her entry into the world of showbiz. It was her dance teacher who first saw the potential in Melissa and encouraged her to take acting lessons. This suggestion was not merely a teacher's whim, but a pivotal moment that would shape her entire career. The family's next move was crucial. They were put in touch with an agent, a common step in Southern California, where talent scouts and agents are as common as palm trees. But Melissa was no ordinary hopeful. With her golden hair and piercing blue eyes, she was a natural fit for the camera, capturing the attention of casting directors with her angelic presence. Her first foray into the world of acting wasn't through big movie roles, but through commercials. Here, Melissa learned the ropes of acting, albeit in bite-sized pieces. However, her charm and talent couldn't be contained in 30-second ad spots for long. In 1973, she appeared in The Brady Bunch, a popular TV show of the era. Portraying a love interest for Bobby Brady, Melissa's character was more than just a fleeting crush. She was a spark that ignited fireworks on the screen. That same year, Melissa branched out into more diverse roles, appearing in Shaft, a TV series based on the hit film. This was no small feat for a budding actress, as it showcased her ability to adapt to different genres and characters. The year 1974 marked a turning point in Melissa's career. At just 11 years old, she was cast in Little House on the Prairie, a television adaptation of Laura Ingalls Wilder's beloved books. This wasn't just another role. It was the role that would define her career and leave an indelible mark on her life. Portraying Mary Ingalls, the eldest daughter of the Ingalls family, Melissa brought to life a character that was well-behaved, earnest, and resonated with viewers across America. Working with Michael Landon, a giant in the television industry, was both an honor and a challenge. He was not just a co-star, but a mentor who helped shape her acting skills. Yet, despite the close-knit environment on set, Melissa, whose parents divorced when she was 13, maintained a certain reserve. She didn't get as close to her fellow child actors as one might expect, perhaps a defense mechanism against the often harsh realities of show business. In the world of television and film, a young actor's life is far from typical. The early mornings, long hours on set, and constant pressure to perform can be overwhelming. Yet, Melissa navigated these challenges with a poise and maturity beyond her years. She balanced her professional commitments with her education, managing to maintain a semblance of normalcy in a life that was anything but. Uh, do you have time to go to school? When I'm not working on the show, uh, I go to my private school. Melissa's portrayal of Mary Ingalls was not just another child acting role. It was a complex character arc that would challenge her as an actress. This challenge came to the fore at the end of the show's fourth season when her character faced a dramatic twist. Mary Ingalls became blind. This storyline was not just a plot device. It was a test of Melissa's acting prowess, requiring her to convey the depth of her character's experience without the use of her sight. The Little House Experience The set of Little House on the Prairie was more than just a workplace for Melissa Sue Anderson. 
It was a crucible where her talent was refined and her fame solidified. Stepping into the shoes of Mary Ingalls, Melissa wasn't just acting. She was living a parallel life in the 19th century American Midwest, albeit under the bright lights and watchful eyes of cameras. As Mary Ingalls, Melissa portrayed the quintessential elder sister, responsible, compassionate, and a pillar of strength for her family. Her character was a model of virtue, often serving as a moral compass amidst the trials and tribulations faced by the Ingalls family. This portrayal was not merely a testament to Melissa's acting skills, it was a reflection of the era's values, resonating deeply with the show's vast audience. Working alongside Michael Landon, who was not only a co-star, but also the driving force behind the show, Melissa learned invaluable lessons about acting and life. Landon, known for his dedication and perfectionism, was a mentor to the young actors, guiding them through the complexities of their roles. However, despite the close proximity to her co-stars, Melissa maintained a certain distance. This reserve was not born out of aloofness, but rather a coping mechanism in an industry where personal and professional lines are often blurred. The dynamics on set were a blend of professional rigor and familial warmth. The cast and crew, much like a real family, shared moments of joy, frustration, and triumph. For a young actress like Melissa, this environment was both challenging and nurturing, offering a unique perspective on the world of television. One of the most significant challenges for Melissa came in the show's fourth season, when her character Mary became blind. This storyline was a radical departure from typical roles assigned to young actors at the time. It demanded a depth of performance that few could have managed. Melissa rose to the occasion, delivering a portrayal that was both authentic and heart-wrenching. Her ability to convey the emotional and physical challenges of blindness without the use of sight was a remarkable feat that won her critical acclaim. Her performance did not go unnoticed. In 1978, she received an Emmy nomination for her role, a rare achievement for a child actor, and a testament to the depth and sensitivity of her portrayal. The nominees for the Outstanding Lead Actress in a Drama Series are Melissa Sue Anderson, Little House on the Prairie. This nomination was not just a personal milestone for Melissa. It was a recognition of the show's impact on television and its ability to tackle complex and sensitive issues. Little House on the Prairie wasn't just a show about a family living on the American frontier. It was a canvas where social, family, and personal issues were explored. The show touched on themes such as poverty, discrimination, and the challenges of growing up. For Melissa, being part of such a narrative was both an education and an opportunity to influence a generation of viewers. Throughout her tenure on the show, Melissa faced her fair share of challenges. The transition from child to teenager in the public eye is fraught with pressures, both personal and professional. Yet she navigated these with a level of maturity that belied her years. Her character's experiences, from the joys of young love to the sorrows of loss, mirrored her own journey into adulthood. Off screen, Melissa's life was undergoing significant changes as well. The divorce of her parents when she was 13 was a personal setback. This event, occurring amidst the demands of a burgeoning career, required her to grow up faster than most of her peers. Unfortunately, people thinking that you're stuck up just because you, you don't know what to say. Yet she managed to maintain a balance, keeping her personal life private and her professional life separate. As the show progressed, Mary's storylines grew increasingly complex, often involving dramatic and traumatic experiences. These storylines, while challenging, provided Melissa with opportunities to stretch her acting skills. She portrayed a range of emotions, from the heights of happiness to the depths of despair, showcasing her versatility as an actress. Throughout her time on Little House on the Prairie, Melissa's growth as an actress was evident. She evolved from a child actor into a mature performer, capable of handling a wide range of emotions and complexities. Her journey on the show was not just about acting, it was about learning, growing, and coming of age in a world where fiction often mirrored reality. Emmy Recognition and Challenging Storylines Melissa Sue Anderson's portrayal of Mary Ingalls on Little House on the Prairie transcended the typical boundaries of child acting. It was a role that brought her not just fame, but critical acclaim, epitomized by her Emmy nomination in 1978. This nod from the television industry was a significant achievement, 
recognizing her ability to bring depth and nuance to a complex character. The Emmy nomination for Melissa was a landmark moment, not just in her career, but for the show itself. It was the first and only time a young actor from Little House on the Prairie received such an honor. This recognition was a testament to Melissa's talent and dedication to her craft. Portraying Mary's journey, especially after her character became blind, required a profound understanding of the emotional and physical challenges faced by those without sight. Melissa's commitment to authenticity in her role was evident in every scene, marking her performance as a standout in the industry. However, the path to this accolade was paved with challenging storylines that tested Melissa's emotional and acting range. After her character lost her sight, Mary Ingalls' life on the show took a dramatic turn. This storyline was not merely a plot development, it was a narrative choice that brought to light the struggles and resilience of people with disabilities. Melissa's portrayal was not just about the loss of sight, but about the journey of adapting, overcoming, and finding new strength. Melissa's performance as a newly blind Mary was a delicate balance of vulnerability and determination. She portrayed the character's initial despair, the struggle to adjust, and the eventual acceptance and adaptation to her new reality. This role required extensive research and a deep understanding of the experiences of blind individuals. Melissa's dedication to accurately portraying this condition was a significant factor in her Emmy nomination. Beyond the physical challenges of her role, Melissa also navigated a myriad of emotional storylines that added layers to her character. Mary's life in Little House on the Prairie was marked by a series of tragedies and challenges, from personal losses to family struggles. Each of these storylines demanded a high level of emotional intensity from Melissa, showcasing her ability to convey complex feelings with subtlety and depth. My character goes blind, and that was huge. That was very difficult. One notable storyline was the death of Mary's baby in a fire. This tragic event was a pivotal moment in the show and for Melissa's character. The portrayal of grief and loss in such a raw and genuine manner was a testament to Melissa's acting prowess. She brought a heartbreaking realism to the scene, capturing the essence of a mother's anguish in the face of unimaginable loss. Another significant challenge for Melissa was depicting Mary's catatonia. This storyline was a departure from the character's previous challenges and required a different set of acting skills. Melissa had to convey a range of emotions without the usual tools of facial expressions and body language. Her performance in these scenes was a powerful display of her versatility and skill as an actress. Throughout these challenging storylines, Melissa maintained a level of professionalism and commitment that set her apart from many of her peers. She approached each storyline with a dedication to bringing authenticity and empathy to her character. Her ability to delve into the emotional depths of Mary Ingalls made her performance not just believable, but deeply impactful. I want to hold him. We're going to put him in the ground. As the series progressed, Melissa's character continued to face a multitude of calamities. These storylines, while challenging, provided her with opportunities to explore different facets of her character. From portraying a blind teacher to dealing with personal tragedies, Melissa's range as an actress was fully utilized. She brought a nuanced understanding to each of these roles, making her character's journey a compelling narrative that resonated with audiences. Career Beyond Little House After her memorable stint as Mary Ingalls on Little House on the Prairie, Melissa Sue Anderson embarked on a diverse and evolving career path that saw her explore various facets of the acting world. Post Little House, her journey was a blend of bold choices and nuanced performances, showcasing her versatility beyond the prairie. Melissa's decision to leave the comfort of Little House in 1981 was a bold step, indicative of an artist seeking new challenges, stepping away from a character that had become synonymous with her identity she ventured into uncharted territories of her acting career. This transition period was crucial, as it allowed Melissa to redefine herself as an actress and explore a broader range of roles. One of her significant post-Little House roles was in the horror movie Happy Birthday to Me, 1981. In this film, Melissa showcased her ability to adapt to different genres, a far cry from her previous wholesome image. Her performance in this horror flick was a testament to her willingness to take on challenging and unexpected roles, further proving her versatility as an actress. Melissa also made appearances in other television series and movies, 
consistently demonstrating her ability to slip into various characters seamlessly. Her roles during this period were diverse, ranging from guest appearances on popular shows like The Love Boat to starring in TV movies. Each role offered her a new canvas to display her acting prowess. In 1979, Melissa's talent was again recognized when she won an Emmy for her performance in the television special Which Mother is Mine? This award was a significant achievement, highlighting her ability to captivate audiences in roles outside of her little house persona. It was a validation of her skill and a marker of her potential to succeed in various aspects of the acting world. Despite her flourishing career, Melissa made a conscious decision to turn down certain roles that did not align with her personal values or artistic vision. A notable example was her refusal to play the lead in the 1980 film The Blue Lagoon, a role that eventually went to Brooke Shields. Her decision to decline this role was based on her discomfort with the nudity required, showcasing her integrity and personal principles in choosing roles. Melissa's journey in the film industry wasn't limited to acting. She extended her talents to voice work, lending her voice to various animated projects. This foray into voice acting allowed her to explore yet another dimension of her craft, further highlighting her versatility. Her career in the 1980s and 1990s was a blend of television and film roles, as well as stage appearances. Melissa's stage work provided her with an opportunity to connect with live audiences, adding another layer to her rich and diverse acting career. Her performances on stage were well-received, demonstrating her adaptability and skill in different acting mediums. In addition to her acting work, Melissa ventured into the realm of writing, authoring an autobiography titled The Way I See It, A Look Back at My Life on Little House. Published in 2010, this book offered an insightful glimpse into her life and experiences, both on and off the set. Her autobiography was not just a recounting of her career, it was an intimate look at the person behind the fame revealing her thoughts, challenges, and triumphs. Throughout the years, Melissa remained active in various charitable causes and events. Her involvement in philanthropy was a reflection of her desire to give back and make a positive impact beyond her acting career. Her commitment to various causes showcased a different aspect of her personality, one rooted in compassion and a desire to contribute to the greater good. Personal Life and Shift to Family Focus while Melissa Sue Anderson is widely recognized for her portrayal of Mary Ingalls on Little House on the Prairie, her personal life and the transition to a family-focused existence is a narrative equally rich and compelling. Melissa's journey off-screen reflects a tapestry of experiences that shaped not just her career, but her identity as a woman, a wife, and a mother. Born into a family with a significant age gap between her and her older sister, Melissa's early family dynamics played a pivotal role in her development. Her parents' divorce when she was 13 was a significant event, impacting her at a formative age. It was during these early years that Melissa developed a sense of independence and resilience, qualities that would later define her choices both personally and professionally. Melissa's ascent to fame at a young age meant that her personal life was often under the microscope. Despite the public's interest in her private affairs, she managed to maintain a level of discretion and privacy, a feat not easily achieved in the limelight of Hollywood. This discretion extended to her relationships, where Melissa preferred to keep details away from the public eye. In the realm of romance, Melissa's life mirrored the typical experiences of young adulthood, albeit with the added complexity of being a public figure. Her high-profile relationships, including a brief but widely publicized connection with Frank Sinatra Jr. and a romantic involvement with actor Lorenzo Lamas, were subjects of media fascination. However, Melissa navigated these relationships with a level of maturity and privacy that allowed her to maintain her personal space amidst public scrutiny. The year 1990 marked a significant milestone in Melissa's personal life. She married Michael Sloan, a writer, producer, and director. This union was more than a marital bond. It was a partnership that brought stability and a shared vision for the future. Michael and Melissa's relationship was grounded in mutual respect and a deep understanding of the demands and nuances of life in the entertainment industry. The couple's family life began with the birth of their daughter, Piper, in 1991, followed by the arrival of their son, Griffin, in 1996. Motherhood brought a new dimension to Melissa's life, shifting her focus from the glitz and glamour of Hollywood 
to the joys and challenges of raising children. This transition was a deliberate choice, reflecting Melissa's desire to provide a stable and nurturing environment for her family. In 2002, Melissa and her family made a significant move, relocating to Canada. This decision was driven by a desire for a change in lifestyle and a different environment for their children. The move to Canada was not just a geographical shift, it was a statement of Melissa's priorities, placing family and quality of life above the allure of Hollywood. The family's integration into Canadian society was complete when Melissa and Michael became Canadian citizens in 2007. This new chapter in a different country offered Melissa the opportunity to explore new avenues, both personal and professional, away from the intense spotlight of Hollywood. As her children grew, Melissa's role as a mother evolved. She balanced the demands of motherhood with her career, ensuring that her family remained her top priority. This balancing act was a testament to her commitment to her family and her ability to manage the complexities of life as a public figure and a private individual. Melissa's decision to focus on her family did not mean a complete withdrawal from the public eye. She made selective appearances and continued to engage with her fans through various platforms. Her involvement in the entertainment industry, though reduced, remained a part of her identity, albeit no longer the defining aspect of her life. Return to the Limelight and Recent Endeavors After years of focusing on her family and personal life, Melissa Sue Anderson made a gradual return to the limelight, re-engaging with her professional passions and embarking on new ventures. This phase of her life marked a blend of reminiscence and reinvention as she revisited her acting roots while exploring new horizons. In 2006, Melissa stepped back into the public eye with her appearance in the NBC miniseries 10.5 Apocalypse. This role marked her return to television after a significant hiatus and showcased her undiminished talent. Her performance in the disaster-themed miniseries was a reminder of her versatility and ability to adapt to various genres. Melissa's return was not just about reviving her acting career, it was also an opportunity to reflect on her journey. In 2010, she published her autobiography, The Way I See It, a look back at my life on Little House. This memoir was more than just a chronicle of her acting career. It was an intimate portrayal of her life experiences, offering insights into her personal growth, challenges, and the lessons learned along the way. The book received acclaim for its honesty and depth, providing fans and viewers with a new perspective on Melissa's life and the world of child acting. The publication of her autobiography coincided with a renewed interest in Little House on the Prairie. Partly fueled by the show's enduring popularity and nostalgia for classic television, it's Jasper out there now. We set up and begged. It was the prettiest sight I ever saw. Melissa participated in various reunions and events related to the show, rekindling connections with former co-stars and re-engaging with fans who had grown up watching her on screen. These reunions were not just nostalgic trips down memory lane. They were celebrations of a show that had left an indelible mark on American television and culture. Melissa's appearances at these events highlighted her enduring legacy as a part of the Little House family. Her interactions with fans, many of whom shared personal stories of how the show had impacted their lives, were testament to the show's lasting influence. These encounters were a source of joy and fulfillment for Melissa, allowing her to appreciate the enduring impact of her work. Beyond her involvement with Little House-related activities, Melissa continued to explore other creative and professional pursuits. Her foray into writing extended beyond her autobiography, showcasing her talent as a storyteller and writer. These literary endeavors provided her with a new avenue to express her creativity and connect with audiences in a different medium. In addition to her professional activities, Melissa remained active in various charitable causes and organizations. Her philanthropic efforts were a reflection of her desire to give back and contribute positively to society. These endeavors were not just about lending her celebrity status to causes. They were driven by a genuine commitment to making a difference in the lives of others. I love being an actress. I wasn't there to play. I wasn't there to have a great time. I did most of the time. Throughout this period, Melissa maintained a balance between her professional pursuits and her personal life. Her family continued to be her anchor, providing her with the stability and support needed to explore new opportunities. This balance was a key factor in her ability to manage the demands of her career 
while staying grounded in her personal values and priorities. As the entertainment industry evolved, Melissa adapted to the changing landscape, embracing new platforms and ways of connecting with audiences. Her presence on social media and participation in various online platforms demonstrated her willingness to engage with the digital age, reaching out to a new generation of fans and followers.